Hello and welcome to Pattern Making with Let Morris. We're back on this dress pattern that we've been making. I'm now going to create the sleeves. We've done everything else and this is the last thing we're going to do basically. So this is the sleeve. So I just want to thank you again for watching and I hope all of this all these classes, there's different patterns that we've been doing, different design features that you're able to create yourself and it's bringing value to you as you watch and as you go through it. And I just want to say thank you for watching and don't forget to, um, to share, to comment and to like and um, also don't forget to subscribe so here we go so now we're going to go on to the sleeve and we need the sleeve block so this is a sleeve block and you on a new sheet of paper you've got all the tools that you need your paper you're going to mark out the block shape onto a new sheet of paper paper put in in your balance mark your grain line all the details that you need on from your block onto a new sheet of paper and that is now your draft so then we can put the block away and this is what we have the outline of the block and what I've done is I have I've put a line across the top because I don't want this section to get any bigger and um, I just want to put some fullness or uh, some flair in the bottom section of the sleeve so what I've done is I've extended the line straight line down one straight line down and I've taken it from the bottom of the normal sleeve about eight, eight inches down because I want the that's the length of the sleeve here on the inside I want the outside to stay the same but on the inside of the sleeve which is towards the body I want it to be longer and I just measured it roughly the from my elbow not my elbow my ankle or my wrist rather not ankle the wrist down to the longest part of my fingers which is that one and whatever that is I'm going to keep it the length you can go longer if you want you can go longer but you just I'm just going to use that as a guide so what I've done is I've measured from there down that measurement from there down and then I connect a straight line down so now this is the the length my sleeve is going to be so once I've established that I don't want from the crown of my sleeve to the bottom of my sleeve here I just want it to be a normal sleeve length so I'm going to keep it the same here so from this point you can draw a straight line and then you just slightly curve it round into there and you do the same thing here round into that center of your sleeve here that point so just do a nice you know little curve into there like that curve it round if you're not good at curving you can just curve it round with your um your curve um like that so i just do a curve slightly so the shape that i've got is like that so what the next thing i'm going to do is to create um one line parallel to the grain line and one line parallel to the grain line on the front and on the back so like this I'm going to, in other words, divide that space into two and I'm just going to come down like that to there and I'm going to do another one up this side. So these are the lines I'm going to use to slash. So I've taken it down to the bottom there. So once I've got that, I'm then going to cut out this shape that I've got and I'm going to slash and open out. So... I'm going to go, I'm going to slash, I'm going to cut out on this line across here. And I'm also going to cut on the, the shape that I've got. So I'm going to cut up the side here. And then I'm going to go around the head of the sleeve. And once I've gone around the head of the sleeve, I'm going to lay the side seams together to make sure that they're, they're meeting or they're the same length because you don't want one to be longer than the other and then you can go ahead and do your 
slash and what is called spread so I'm going to go down there like that so it's all cut out now and you've got your balance marking that's the back and then one for the front and I'm going to fold on that center the grain line and make sure that these lines are meeting along there if they're not meeting you make sure that they meet so mine is not meeting so I'm going to trim that little bit off so I know they're exactly the same so from there I'm going to strip trim that off so we know exactly that line is just right that I want and while it's folded I'm going to follow around that curve that I've got so I'm going to cut that out now so I know the two when it's open out they're both the same so just follow that round to the center to a curve like that and I'm going to open out now I know that that line and that line is parallel and that line and that line is the same so once I've got that I'm going to cut up on that line I'm going to cut up on that line and I'm cut through there cut through there and I'm close it and open it now by doing that you you've got to decide on how wide you want how full you want that sleeve to be um, and it also depends on how wide your fabric that you're going to cut it out with the wider the fabric that you're going to use you can open out wide you know as wide as the fabric that you use and um so it just depends on you again what you want this is just to you know just to show you how we go about it so what we're going to do is we're going to draw another straight line on our paper so just to remind you that is the sleeve that we're doing so I'm going to draw a straight line on my paper and then I'm going to lay my grain line from my draft on that line so I'm going to bring that over I'm going to place that on the the line make sure it touches there so I just want you to to see that this section here at the top is staying the same I'm not having it moved so what I'm going to do from that point there I'm going to mark around my sleeve so we're going to mark around there around there the head of the sleeve and we're going to put in our balance mark which is there and there and the top one center of the sleeve and we come down to there so now once we've got that you can secure that on your paper with as we say with a pin or prick stick or your sellotape so that you can have your hands free to move about so what I'm going to do I'm going to close it here and open it here so like that I'm going to tilt that over like that you can open as far as you want just depends on how much flare you want so I'm going to open it out to that amount which is let's see what we're putting in there because the more you open out the more it flares out so I'm going to have um six inches in there so it's nice and full you can come out more if you want so I know that's six inches in there so I'm going to just mark from there and as you see it's overlapping there so don't worry about that whatever it over overlaps we can get it back on the length here so what we do is we just mark around that section back into that shape and then we can get smooth lines after and then you mark the end of your where the point is the shape and then we're going to come up a little bit there and then we can stop so now we do the same thing on the other side we're going to overlap it like that make sure that's touching and we want to open it exactly the same amount like we did on the other side so whatever this is we're going to open it out so it's evenly the same amount yeah so make sure that's overlapped and open so whatever that is you measure that position and then you want it to be the same on this side like that so you bring that over so you know it's the same you sellotape it down and then you continue to mark your shape out down to there and you come up there follow that you mark a little bit of this and that but all we're going to do from that point we're going to shape it back into the into that shape right so we don't 
worry about the way the lines are broken. Don't worry about that. Just mark. We need the center marking of the sleeve, just a little bit there and a little bit there. And once we've got that, as you can see, we've now opened the sleeve out. So we got all that fullness in there. So all I'm going to do is to get nice shaping back into here and nice shaping from there back into there. So what we do is we can move these bits off our pattern piece now, right? Because we've um, we've gained the shape that we want. And all I'm going to do is if we look at it, we can see the shaping. So from this point, we want to go give it a nice curve back into there. And then this one, we're going to curve it back into that one. So we get a nice curve. We got a nice curve, but we don't want it to be a point. So we've got to make sure that we get a nice curve along there. So from there, you don't go to the point, but you just come down a little bit so that you can get a nice shape. And then you come back down into that shape position so you do that with your 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 um you can get nice shapes with your your um your curve and you know get a nice shape and follow that round so that we get a nice shape into there like that we get a nice curve back into that shape like that and then what we do is we also where it's it's gone in a little bit there we just get a nice shape once again with your curve you can just work it and you get a nice shape and you do the same thing on that side so we get nice shape and as you can see we're still having our grain line on here so we then indicate that is our grain line and that that is now our sleeve and then we just add our seam allowance on and then before we cut out, we're going to check that the side seams are matching and we get in a nice shape at the bottom. So we just straighten up these lines after we've done our get a nice curve into there. And then we just add our seam allowance on. So we want a centimetre down this side. So we just put a centimetre all the way down so that it will be a straight line down to there centimeter and we just need a centimeter on the um on the bottom as well because all we do is just um overlock and stitch and then we need a centimeter around the head of the sleeve to go back in there and we've got to check that the sleeve fits into the armhole because this sleeve is a fit it fits in there hasn't got any gauging on the head all we've got is a flare on the bottom so we just add a centimeter on the bottom or you can just do a, a quarter of an inch if you're going to super lock the edge of it but if not you do a centimeter that's fine and then up the side we also put a centimeter for your side seam allowance on there so got a centimeter up there going on up there and you just follow the shape round for your centimeter like that so that gives you your shape so now this is now your front your sleeve and we're going to cut two of those okay so that is the making of your sleeve it's just straightforward and then we've got to make sure that this section matches that section when we cut out so and then we've got to check that the sleeve matches into the armhole so we get hold of the our bodies and we make sure that they're matching so we get the back which is there and then we get the front our front um of us of our um the front of our our dress make sure that the pieces are matching on the front um we've we've got to join up because that seam joins onto there and we this has got to fit in there you can measure it with your tape measure by standing up 
standing it up make sure that measurements there and this one from here to here to the center is the same if it's if it's a little bit bigger don't worry because that will be a bit of an ease and you measure on the back section here make sure that it's the same and then you put your grain your um your balance mark in for your notches like that you measure it round and then you can do it this way round like this or you can measure it and wherever it comes that is your 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 center so you've got that much ease and you do exactly the same thing for the front and you've got the ease and you know that that is your center so that's how we create the sleeve for our the sleeve for our um so that is the sleeve you measure it in like that we can go that way like that bring that round to there into there and then this one comes into there and goes round there and then it follows round and it measures into there so you've got that much ease so all you do is just whatever that measure you half it and then you put your notch there for the center so you've got a little bit of ease on the front and a little bit of ease on the the back so that when your sleeve go in it's nice it's a lovely fitting sleeve so that that is how we create the sleeve for this wonderful dress as i said you can make that fuller if you want so um the fuller you make it the more fluty it is so but for this one that's the amount that we've put in we've opened out to make it fluty so that is the end of making the pattern for the this beautiful dress and the only thing that we need to do is to do the facing for the back neck and for the front neck and that i've shown you how i've shown you how to do that before once again you get hold of your back your back at the neck and you just place that on a sheet of paper and you mark around from the shoulder a bit of the shoulder around the neck like that and a bit down the back and then you decide on how wide you want the facing to be whether it be normally it's about two inches two and a quarter you measure from that point in two and a half and then you just measure it all the way all the way and then you connect the lines round so this is now your back neck facing and all you do is just put your grain line on parallel to the center back actually grain line and you do for the front you place it on the fold edge of your paper or you can do it single but you must write on there um center front and you center front and you place it on the fold so the foot straight edge there on the front you go round the neck just like you did the back cross the shoulder so you've got to write on there very important center front fold you've got to place that on the fold edge because i've just done that on the single single and then you whatever the measurement is that you did on the back two and a half you measure that and you keep it the same distance out and you just come right round with it like that so right round right round and that is your facing so that is how we create the facing so this is the back neck facing and we're going to cut two plus fuse we use a fuse to make it a bit firm and this is your front neck facing and we're going to cut one of these plus one fuse and that is on the actually on the on the fold that edge there when you cut it out so those are the pieces that we need so for that dress beautiful dress so i hope you'll find that useful you can create it so there we go that is the back section and that is the front section here that we've got the front the side front and the yoke at the top that's our yoke that's the yoke there and then we've got the the skirt the front skirt and then we've got the back skirt and we've got the 
back skirt which is the same as the front but the only difference is we've got a seam going down the back and we've also got a, an opening at the the bottom of the, the, the skirt at the back and um, we've got our tucks in tucks in at the front and at the back and that completes your dress pattern so I hope you'll find that very useful and if you once again if you've got any comments and you're not understanding you can send me a message and I'll go through that with you so I hope you continue to watch continue to comment share and like and also subscribe thank you once again until next time have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.